So this is the, in the top right hand corner is basically the major control panel that's down a little down arrow lets you go back to and it's like sign out and then you can edit your profile. So if you haven't edited your profile, please, please go in there, edit your profile. And by the way, all you got to do to edit your photo is just to tap on the little camera right here and then to change your password. This is where you change your password. Okay. This is your main setting section here, your dashboard for the account. Okay. Inside of the local service ad software is the AI software. Okay. And it really is pretty simple. Once you understand the the basics of there being three different types of accounts, that's the big high level way to think about this software is that there's an agency level. Okay. Which is a business that has other businesses underneath it, like we do. And then there's businesses that are under the agency account. And then there's a master account, which is what we have. We we manage both individual businesses and we manage agency accounts, but that's how we can let somebody use our software and basically white label our LSA software and our AI software. The main thing that you guys are going to be managing is just adding businesses to the account. Okay. Just know that there is that extra layer there. Okay. So that's why you're going to see this next little button here or tab below the dashboard. And by the way, the genesis of this, this software was me wanting to create a bridge between the LSA software from Google and our platform that will automatically pull that data in so that you don't have to go in there and manually do this stuff by putting it into a Google sheet. Then that makes your life a lot easier. That's why we started on this path three years ago. And it does really help people manage their account and hopefully get insights into how to look at the data. That's the key. I want the business owners and you guys to understand that there are correlations with this data. The genesis of this was me wanting to see what affects lead volume and to prove the correlations with response rate and reviews once and for all. Those are the two reasons is to provide more value to the client and make your life easier by pulling in data that you shouldn't have to be going and having to get yourself. Okay. So here's the dashboard. We have 61 total businesses in the local service app platform with 76 locations. That means that some of these businesses have multiple locations, new businesses this month that were added was 12. And then here's the recent reviews. And this pulls in all the recent reviews from all the accounts that we have. Okay. From all the businesses that we have on our account. So this is, think it, so ours is a master account, which is similar to an agency account where you can see everything aggregated in one place. And then here's some re recent activity you can see here that that happened updated. So these are up these are calls that have come in. Here's a call rail call a day ago, and you can see that there's you know there's information in there about that call. But this is the dashboard. This is just the primary like simple you know dashboard for in, you know for agencies. Now I'm going to go to the agencies section here, which only we're going to have because you know even agencies aren't going to have an agency section because. They're, they have an agency account. They don't have a master account. So this shows you that this is the only business that actually has an agency account. Okay. So I'm not going to, I mean, I can go in here and then I can show you. Okay. So if I go into their account, it looks very similar to ours. And if, if I go in, we can actually look at their businesses and you can see just like you'll see in ours in one second, they have multiple businesses that are under their agency account. So I hope that makes sense, guys. So I'm just going to go back here. I can go back, see back to administration go back here and you saw they have billing. There's a billing section there as well. So that's something to just keep in mind. So here is a section that only we're going to have. Nobody else is going to have this. And the prompt that we set up for our AI, for our landing page for selling, it's the page that we send to people when, when they want to have an experience of what the prompt is. And this is the prompt that actually creates the, the persona and all of the stuff that makes the AI work for that particular landing page. Okay, so because every prompt, we'll go into this AI section, every prompt has its own persona, it has its own knowledge base, it has its own tone, everything. Everything is unique. And actually, eventually, people are going to purchase separate prompts, just like they would purchase like a separate assistant, you know, because each assistant's going to have its own functionality. It's going to have its own outcome that it's trying to get. And that's why these prompts are, are created differently, Okay. So this prompt is different than any other prompt. The prompt here is designed 
specifically to, to try to get somebody to, con- to convert to, a, to book an appointment with us, okay? So that's why this, this is here. Nobody else is going to have it. You're not going to see it anywhere else. So just know that. So here is the next section here. The next tab is are the businesses, like you saw on Max and Grace's that I just showed you, a list of like they had all their businesses. Here's the list of all our businesses under our account, okay? All those 61 businesses. So if I wanted to manage any one of these businesses, I can just either tap on any one of these manage account buttons, or I can go to the search bar up here and I can always do a search. So this shows you, we can view all businesses. We can add a business. By the way, this is where you add a business as well. It's very easy to add a business. All you do is you tap that little add a business button. You put in their first name, last name, email address. You can search for the business. So that was it right there. Just so it actually pulls it up automatically from the Google business profile section. And and if you if I selected that, so there, it's it selected that business and it pulls in all of their information. You see? Okay. So it's so you don't have to put all that information in. And then all you gotta do is just put the first name, last name, and email address and then save it. And that's how you add a business. It's really it's really very simple. So that's that. And then I'm gonna go down here. I'm just gonna keep going to the globe down here. So that's how you see all the businesses in general. Here's the globe. This shows you the audit. Okay, so this is the other goal that we have with this software is to be able to run audits of other businesses. And the the thought behind this is, is, man, wouldn't it be great if we could just automate what Mary does and take, you know, that instead of taking an hour of her time, you know, run this or do an audit that's similar. Obviously, it's not going to, you know, have all the details that Mary puts into it, but something that's similar and just automate it and create it, you know, quickly and easily. If you go right here to this little button, a lot of business owners that are going to resell our software like us, they'll probably want to create a widget or an opt-in in order to get the person's name and email that's interested in local service ads. The way that they create a connection with them is to offer something like an audit. And so that's the whole concept is, is that we can offer an audit kind of like what Mary does a little bit watered down version of it and allow that business to offer it all on autopilot, you know, with, with all this automation set up. So all they got to do is tap that little button right there, and then they can create a widget. And you can see I've created two widgets here back on January 11th and February 10th. And all you got to do is tap on create a widget. And then this is kind of, this is basically what the little widget looks like. Okay. So you can, they can tweak the layout. They can tweak the appearance. They can change it right here. They, they can either embed it, they can make it a pop-up, or they can make it a header header and a pop-up. This is what it looks like. But you can see it says, what customers see about your business online? The information you provide in this form will be used to be in touch with you. So basically, the person that wants to get the audit will put their name and their keyword and then get their LSA audit, and they get it immediately. And then the business that wants this audit, they will basically create that. And then here's all they do is to get the embed code to put it on their website is click there, and then there's the code that they, that they copy. Okay. So this is a really great way for business owners, to, you know, like us to be able to get opt-ins. So you can see that there's a third widget that was created there that I just created. And then there's reports. And I'm going to look at the reports here. You can generate, generate reports here and then leads. So any leads that they get will actually be in their account. Okay. So if somebody opts in to that widget that I just showed you, then the leads will show up here. Okay. We have a question from Lara. How yeah. often are the reports updated? Is it an automatic refresh or can we manually update anytime? Yeah, great question, Laura. Yeah, like overall information, if it's like every day at a certain amount of time or if we can manually do it. Alex, <laughs> you have a manual button that says update now. So right now, for the audits, they update every seven days. And for the leads, they update daily at midnight. And maybe we can add in some buttons that says update now, and then someone doesn't have to wait yeah. for the next day or for the next seven days. Yeah, so just, just be aware of the fact that we do get charged when somebody runs an audit because it is scraping data. So, and we use this, we, yeah. we pay, we, you know, we pay to get this data, although it looks like it magically just appears, <laughs> you know, there's... There's programming time, and then there's also, you know, tools that scrape the data from the internet. But anyway, there's the audits, and then there's the reports. So the question that I have here, these reports here, what reports are 
th this would be reports of like the leads that come in or what what is this uh, this will show the the actual audits it will take you to a page where you can click on an audits audit. we got it do it yes but these are audits that are generated by the widgets only now okay. when you go to a business account and generate a money okay i think it'd be good to m maybe name this like audits like you know yeah. something that says what it is as of what because it's I, I I didn't know that. That's why I was confused as well. So, yeah, so I would say like maybe audits, and then you know maybe in parentheses run by the widgets or something like that. So okay, okay. Here's the review. So, and then by the way, I'm going to show you guys here. If you think there's any suggestions that you have that would make sense to change that to make the software better, there is a place to add any suggestions that you have or that the clients have to make the software better because we want to make the software better. Alex has created created a great space for that, you know, in the software. So the other thing that every business is going to want is to be able to add users to their account. Okay, so this is how you just like I showed you how to add businesses. This is how businesses would add users. Okay, it's very easy. You just tap this button here to add users. You put their information in here. What role they have? There's different roles, just like with the LSA. You know, the MCC account. There's administrator and manager client access. If it's a master account or an agency account, then then they would identify if they want to give, you know, what clients would have, what what accounts the clients would have access to. Okay. So that's very important because if there's multiple accounts, you want to make sure that they only have access to their account and not their competitor, for example. And then here's the sections that you can identify that they could, you know, have access to, which is kind of cool. I didn't even know that that was there. And then you can obviously like go back here and you can add or edit, resend password or disable access. If the client doesn't know, how do I get access again? You can very easily do that by just tapping out those three little dots up there and then go to resend password and then they'll get it in their email, whatever email is associated with this, with this user account. So that's how you add users. Here's the reports. And then there's a roll-up report last seven days. You can see here, you know, all the different accounts that they have, which is kind of nice because it shows you a roll-up report for all the accounts as an agency account. Like this is, we're still in the agency account. I'm not in an individual business account. This is kind of nice to have to be able to see all of that information. And then I'm going to go to the little gear here. Okay. The settings button. And you can see that in the settings, there's the main settings. So if an agency wants to white label, they would have their own agency name they would put a link to their privacy policy and their terms of service, and they would give permissions to people. What Can you explain this, Alex? Enable sign-up permissions? Yeah, so the enable sign-up would allow a sign-up link to show on their login page, on their white-labeled login page, so that people can sign up under their agency as businesses. Okay, and then here's the custom CSS. If somebody wanted to edit their landing page that Alex is going to show you right now, Okay, so this is how uh, an HSC login page would look like. And if enable sign up is enabled, this will show up here and they can click get started and sign up as a business under that agency. Yeah, but this is really important because as an agency, they basically will have the same landing page that we will. This is the opportunity for us to resell the software as a white label partner.